finished a fantastic Jeep Safari. What an amazing experience that was. So we're going to take you on a little bit of a journey to find out a bit more about what we are up to whilst we're there. My friend yesterday and say that uh, I should enjoy it as much as I can here. Uh -huh. We are in the Juanitos, Juanitos farm. Yeah, this is a property which is in this family since 1916. Yeah, it's 37 hectares. They grow different cultures. They sell mainly to the state, to the government, I mean. And part, part of the production in the marketplace, so in the open marketplace, give and take prices. It's a nice big one there. The size of that one there. And we make a cam of uh, banana, so smashed banana balls. Got a guarantee. Got a guarantee oh, wow. So we're at a Cuban farm that's been owned by a Cuban family since 1916 and behind me here is where they're growing all the crops from uh, pineapple, sweet potato to a bit of sugar cane here um, and they also do tomato, uh, tomato so bananas, coconut and uh, oranges and it's fantastic and they've got their own honey little farm as well. The nice and pasture is really soft. Um, I've never had sugar cane before and sugar cane is where they used to make all their money from until 1990 when the sugar industry pretty much went bust. So they turned to tourism and I guess that's why we're here. And this is nice as well. And you've got to chew on it for a while. But don't, don't swear to them. Uh, don't spoil it. It's not good. Like, it's incredible. It's like um, it's really juicy. I can't really describe what it tastes like so much. It's just really sugary, juicy, wonderfulnessness. Um, coconut, but I'll have to finish this first. Mm. Okay, so we're here at the next stage of our Jeep Safari, and it's snorkeling at the coral reef here in Cuba. Chicken and pork soup. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, look at them there having a bath. As well, what did you just discover? Basically, um, even though we booked uh, the bus at the resort, we still need to exchange with proper tickets here. It's not very visible, I know, but I'm sure they can understand each other. just come to Santa Clara and we've just got to the central we're taking in a ride in a very old style taxi and I don't think it's actually a taxi I think it was just some local person's car trying to make it into a taxi <laughs> anyway we arrived outside this door had no idea what to expect walk into a museum style <laughs> entrance and then we get shown our room <laughs> you ready for this that are on the wall here. It's like stepping back several hundred years. I feel like I'm at the turn of the century. Well, the turn of the 19th century. 20th, and look. Look how cute this is. <laughs>
Santa Clara isn't big and you'll be able to get around it in one half of a day. So take it easy and take in the sights, the sounds and the shops. Okay, a meal looking over a park somewhere in Havana would be costing us somewhere in the region of about 10 tourist peso cooks right now. But here in Santa Clara, we have two hamburgers, chips, and two beers for 46 pesos. Okay, all right, it's local currency. That does equate to about two pounds. Mmm, tasty. Don't show your nose up like that. <laughs> If you're a Che Guevara fan, you have to visit Santa Clara purely to see where he defeated and won the war. Santa Clara is deceivingly quiet during the day, but at night it is actually raving. We found this one club, and believe it or not, it happened to be a gay club, full of drag queens too, so it made for some very interesting entertainment, especially after in the main central park. I just woke up um, from a heavy night in Santa Clara uh, in a fantastic clubbing scene. It's actually a very vibrant and noisy but a brilliant evening was had. Um, and you know, we woke up hoping just for a nice light breakfast before heading uh, over to Trinidad. And we're confronted by this five fruits, our five fruit a day, bread, cakes, biscuits, coffee. And we still have one omelette on the way. And I unfortunately had fried croquettes last night, which are playing on my stomach a little bit. So I have no idea how I'm going to make it through this. But four cook, man, four.